Okay, guys. If you seen my last video, um, we're basically here on this gravel road that we're about to die on. Um, I don't know why I pulled on this gravel road. I wanted to get off the road. I should have pulled up a little further, but you know, we make mistakes. Just gotta be very careful. There we go. Look at that. It is beautiful. This is a beautiful Wisconsin day. Hello, YouTube. We're back for another video. It's the video that maybe no one's been waiting for, but it, there, there's big news coming to the channel. First of all, if you see anything in this video that you like, click on the description and click on the links in the description. And uh, I got the mirrors, the levers, the exhaust, everything you want. The GoPro 45% off. It is 45% off on Amazon. Get yourself the GoPro. There's not really a major difference between this GoPro and the new one coming out. That is a jail or a prison or a correctional center. I don't know. It's kind of weird. There's a bunch of dirty animals and it smells like cow poop. But the news that you guys have been waiting for, we are getting rid of the Ninja. We are getting rid of the Ninja 400. And in the coming days, God, it smells like a dead animal. In the, in the coming days, we will be getting rid of the Ninja 400. And we will, we will be laying it to greener pastures in the pursuit of pleasure. No, happiness. Happiness, not pleasure. Happiness. Property, happiness. So, guys, I had this bike for 2018 miles. I got it with like 950 miles. We're about to take 3,000 miles on this bike. It's a 2021 Kawasaki Ninja. I love this bike. I absolutely adore this bike. I've made videos on how much I love this bike. Check out my one, re one year review. I adore this bike, but I'm getting rid of it. And you're probably wondering, oh, wait, why? Why are you getting rid of this beautifully orgasmic bike? And I will tell you why. Here we go, people. We've been leading up this moment now. Because I, I'm done with riding, honestly. It's just not for me anymore. I'm lying, I'm talking out of my arse, as the Europeans say, the British are coming. The British are coming. Fuck the Boston Tea Party. Bring back the Roman Empire. Sorry you had to witness that. There's two main reasons I'm getting rid of the ninja. One, it, it's becoming fall and it's getting kind of cold outside. The leaves are falling. Ah! Sorry, trauma. There's a bunch of birds. Um, the leaves are falling. The, it's getting colder. I mean, like, I, I, I don't want to park it in the garage like I did last year and take up the parking spot where the BMW is supposed to sit because I want to keep the BMW out of the winter. Right? I have the Jeep for the winter. I don't want to keep the BMW in the heated garage. And I just don't have room for it. And I plan on getting rid of it for the second reason anyway. So I might as well get rid of it now. Um, instead of just waiting till, you know, keeping it in the garage, sitting there for no reason. And then selling it in the spring. When in the spring, I'm going to buy something else. There it is. We're buying another bike in the spring, people. I love, I adore, I absolutely, oh, that's a beautiful car. I adore this car, I mean, this bike. But, honestly, it's because of you guys. I'm getting rid of this bike because of you guys, right? Now here's the deal, if you guys have watched other YouTubers and people who buy cars and mod stuff, they don't keep the cars for long, right? They have them for a little bit and then they get rid of them. And that's kind of how this is, right? There's, so, there's only so many videos I can make with this bike with little modifications, like I'm not gonna turbo it or do anything crazy, it's just little stuff, right? How much I pay for insurance, you know, top speed runs, MPG runs, there's only so much I can do with this bike that, like, I, the content was doing so well and I'm gaining traction on the 400, but the, what are you guys gonna watch? There's me moto vlog, my boring daily commute, there's not much that happens, there's 
not much like traffic that can kill me. I'm not gonna have a million videos of people trying to murder me. You know what I mean? It's just serene driving like this whenever I take out for a ride, going to the gym. A little bit of city, a little bit of highway, some back road. So, with that being said, I have two options of bike that I am looking at. Because I'm already planning on getting on which bike I want to get. And, you know, I mean, who knows if... I mean, I'm, yeah, so the, the bike's going to be gone within the next couple days. Right? I got an offer I kind of liked for it. Just I'm going to sell it to a dealership and call it a day. I don't want to post a private party. No one's really going to buy it right now, but the dealership will. So, it smells like a dead animal again. Two bikes I'm looking at getting. An R6 or a ZX6R from Kawasaki or the Yamaha R6. I've heard great things about both bikes. I'm sure both bikes are excellent bikes. I don't think there's gonna, I'm not worried about reliability or longevity because it's, you know, by itself, by itself. But the uh, R6 to me, in my eyes, I feel like would be a bike that gets a little bit more traction on YouTube. I think from the TikToks I've seen, maybe I've just been inundated with TikToks on R6, <laughs> R6s because I watch them a lot more. But you see the smoke? It's very smoky up right now. It's just stagnant up there. It's kind of creepy. Anyway, so I think the R6 would get more views. That's what I think. I think the R6 would get more views. Um, but I don't know because I have a lot of Kawasaki boys following me and I think a lot of guys that are following me for the Nord 400 would at some point consider upgrading to a ZX6R. No, I'm not gonna do a 650. I want the ZX6R. I think that they run around between like, I've seen them floating around for like nine, 10 grand. Eight to nine, used ish, nine, ten, around there. So very doable in terms of price range. Ooh, that's so cool. Um, but and the, the R6 is more, and I want to get a newer. I don't want to get an old R6. I want to get a newer R6. I want ABS. I want basically ABS is all I want. If I could find the 07 that had ABS, I would take it. But I don't think they came until the later years anyway. But. Or ZX6R. ZX6R would allow me to stay in the Kawasaki family, which I'm super not opposed to. But at the same time, I just brutally love the exhaust of the uh, R6. Give it a little gas here. 9,000 RPM, 10,000 RPM. I just, I love, I love love the exhaust of the R6. I think it sounds so, so good. Um, otherwise, I would do the um, ZX6R, which I think is also an excellent bike. And again, they're cheaper, newer than finding a used R6 because they don't make them anymore. They switched them out for the, I, I wouldn't even say they switched them out because I don't think it's in the same class for the R7. I think the R7 is more of a Ninja 650 bike. I wouldn't call it a comparable R6 replacement. I would say it's more of a 650, not a true 600cc monster. So that's the plan, guys. Uh, I've been thinking about it for a while. I've been considering it for a while, and I think that's what's gonna happen. But because of you guys, I'm getting a new bike. I've even considered not getting another bike. And like, I love bike life, but like, I don't ride it enough. As you guys saw in my last video, I only put a thousand miles a month on the, I mean, a year, a season, the trimester on the bike. So I kind of like, don't know if it's worth it to me, but you know, between you guys watching it and you know, all that, I think it is worth it. So I am going to buy another bike and it is going to be a Kawasaki ZX6R or Ninja. Uh, I mean, or a Yamaha R6. Those are my two options. Remember, people, put it in gear, kill switch, let the clutch go, lock the wheel. Um, there we go. But yeah, we are going to get a faster bike. We are going to replace this bike. Um, that's kind of what life's come to. Because I had the winter beater right there. 
I have the BMW, I have the Scion, I have the Beamer. The Beamer's going to get some modifications to it, but a lot of the people that watch my videos are ninja watchers or viewers. Um, and there's just not much you can modify with the spike. You can put some LED lights on it. You can put some, I've seen people put like a little bit bigger rear tire on that muffler, tail tidy, levers, mirrors, Ninja 300 mirrors. Um, if you don't want to put these bladed mirrors, the Ninja 300 has smaller mirrors and they will mount up perfectly on this. Recommend those shout outs to the people that commented in my videos and weren't assholes about it and actually told me that there's nicer mirrors or semi usable mirrors. But I'm going to be selling a spike. I'll make a video on it. Um, but thanks for tuning in. Thank you guys for everything. Uh, if you watched my last video, you guys paid for the spike, and I am just absolutely overjoyed for that. Um, who thinks about who thinks they could just buy a toy and have other people pay for it? And both of you guys, you know, they enjoy the content, you enjoy the actual toy. So I'm trying my best here. I just don't get to ride it a lot. So we're gonna get sell it for now, put the money aside, and when the spring comes, I think probably around end of april early may wisconsin's unpredictable sometimes it snows really bad in may i don't know but you know we're we're gonna get with this bike for now um and get it prepped for sale selling it or a sale i am gonna return i'm gonna make a video on returning it to stockish remove the mirrors put the old mirrors back on remove the levers remove the gopro i mean not the gopro the quad lock mount with the damper um We'll remove the exhaust. I'm going to keep the tail tidy because it's already wired up and it's just I'm, it's not worth replacing. Put everything back to stock. Send it off to the dealership. Take the money they offered me. And we're going to call it a day. But uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Links are in the description for anything you want. Remember, people, the GoPro is 45% off. Everything I record is on the same GoPro I'm, I'm telling you guys to use. I use it every day for my recording. I have it set right now to 4K, 60 frames per second, wide view. If you like how the video turns out, it looks pretty good, go for it. If there's ever any videos where the light looks a little smudged or there's like a line, it's not the GoPro itself, it's the lens that's smudged. But, I mean, here's the Jeep. Here's the Scion. Should probably close that sunroof. But thanks for tuning in, guys. Love all you people.